Hello, let's learn some digital image processing operations. We will be using Python and OpenCV for this. So we will be doing some morphological operations. This is a practical tutorial. Therefore, I will not be explaining the detailed theory concepts. I will just explain whatever I'm doing briefly. So if you want uh, detailed theory concepts, we can do maybe some uh, another video sometime. If you want that, you can always ask me that in the comments. OK, let's start. Let's learn how to count different objects through connected component labeling in Python using OpenCV. So basically we will use text detection as an example here. Let's use this image as our example. So you can see it has some text written in it. And basically there are one, two, three, four, and five lines here in this image. So what we want is I wanna count the number of lines present in this, uh, in this image, in this document. So uh, basically, first of all, I will detect wherever there is some text using connected component labeling, and then we will uh, we will count it. So uh, basically, what we will do is we will perform some uh, morphological operations, for example, dilation, to connect all of these words into one line, and then I will count that line using CC labeling. So uh, basically, after uh, performing the morphological operations, the output of uh, this uh, image should be like this and then I will perform uh, labeling connected component labeling and here you can see it has counted five objects right five lines so we'll see how to do that in the code and similarly there is another example of in which we have the same uh, input image same example image and what I want now is to count the number of words not the number of lines so to count the number of words I have to perform the, the, the dilation operation but this time the structuring element or the window should have a particular length uh, and the, a particular size length and width uh, so that only the words are connected uh, they are joined just the words not the whole line so the output will be something like this right and then we, we can count how many words there are so uh, let's qu quickly see how to uh, code for this in uh, this uh, task or in our example. Let's see that Okay, let's write some code to count the number of lines and I'm going to start off by importing the important libraries and then uh, loading my image. So the name of my image is text.png and I'm using this to for grayscale images. I want to load this uh, image basically in grayscale. That's why I'm using zero here. Okay, uh, let's define our kernel first of all because we want to connect all the lines as one object, right? We want to do that. So um, since we want to connect all the lines, I'm gonna make a horizontal structuring element whose shape should be three rows and let's say eleven columns, which you can change. You can play around with these values. And let's give them the type num by u int 8. Right. Okay. Now let's erode these uh, characters and make them one object, make one line as one object. So for that, for erosion, I'm going to write cv2 dot erode. Give it your image, give it your kernel, and give it the number of iterations which we want as one. Now let's see the output and let's see what happened. So I'm going to use the cv2im show function and give it the image lines. Okay, let's see what happened. Let me save it first. Okay, they are pretty much connected, but I think uh, we can connect them a bit more. And to do that, I need to, you know, increase this length. I'm going to make my uh, structuring element a bit uh, wider, you can say, in length. The, this is a horizontal structuring element. Let's try with 15. Yeah, much better. They are all connected. All right. The next thing that I have to do is 
we have to use connected component labeling. To find the number of labels, OpenCV provides you with a function name as connected component with starts. So basically, it has four different functions for connected component labeling, and this is the most widely used. It provides us with the center points, the width, height, and other stuff. Although we are not, we don't want that information right now because we are not making bounding boxes right now. But still, we're gonna stick with this function right now. Okay, and it returns four different values. So let's save those values first. So the first value that it returns is number of labels, number of labeled components. Second one is the label information. The third one are the stats, the width, height, and other, other information. The fourth one is the centroids information. So this is what we are get, gonna get from this function. And we will provide this function with our image, with uh, the connectivity. So let's use eight connectivity. I'm, I think you are familiar with this concept. If you're not, we can do another video on that later. So this is basically the neighbors, eight neighbors, right? Eight neighbor, eight connectivity. And th this basically means that it's gonna, uh, while labeling the components, it's gonna look uh, towards the pixels uh, which which are above it, below it, uh, uh, and next to it, and the previous pixel, and also the diagonal pixels. That's what we mean by eight connectivity. And then the CV2 dot, this is the type basically, 32S. One very important point here is that this lines is basically the image that I received after my erosion operation here. This is the output of erosion lines. So this lines is basically in this form. This is my lines image. So it has the background in white and the foreground in black. And the very important thing is the connected component labeling function of OpenCV has an issue, maybe I should say, or maybe not. You never provide it, you never provide that function with an image whose foreground is in black. So it basically needs the image whose foreground is in white color. So by foreground, we mean we mean those those pixels which it wanna detect, right? The the pixels which it, it will basically detect and and uh, mark as labels, it, which which it will label, right? The connected components which it, it will label, they must always be in white color, not black. So this is the very important point here, and because right now we have the foreground in black and we want it to be in white, I'm gonna send an inverted image to this function. By writing this, you can send an inverted image. So this is what I'm gonna do. And then uh, we have done that. Let's print the number of connected components that it found. So print total lines are more of labels and let's see what happens so it printed six lines okay why six we have five lines but it has printed six and that is because uh, the background is one object it considers the background as one object and basically it is labeled at zero the the first object is the background object so you can just write total labels minus one here Okay, if you also wanna uh, see your labels, labeled components in different colors, we can also do that. Let's do that. To label our, to mark or color our different components, we can use, let's initialize a colors array with random colors. Random dot rand int. Uh, the starting value is zero, the ending is 255, it's gonna it's gonna generate a number, random number between this, between zero to 225, 255, and the size should be equal to the total number of labels, because we want as many colors as we have labels. So if we have uh, six labels, we want six colors, or five, so we want five colors, and three. Alright, 
since our uh, background is always present at the zeroth index, let's mark our background as zero, zero, and zero. Right? And let's may make an image, name it as colored components equals to colors and labels so the labels data is present basically here in this video and let's now display these images Let's also see the original image here, the inverted image which we basically sent to this function. And let's see the output. Okay, what did I do? Let me see. Oh, right. It should be colors. This is the name of my array. Okay. <laughs> All right. I was thinking about it. What if this one goes black? What will happen then? It will. It is going to merge with the background. But it's random, so it's not going to happen always. Let's run it again. Okay, this time it's not black. It was random. It happened by luck. Should I say luck? Anyway, so here you can see that these are the five components. And you can see total number of lines are five. All right. Um, let's do the same thing, but this time for words. of my structuring element should be less let's start with three let's start by using it uh, it as three the columns as three and i don't think there is any other difference here i also have to print it so total number of words are total label minus one basically there should be total label minus one okay that's it let's run it Must have written lines somewhere. Must have forgotten to change basically lines somewhere. Where is it? Yeah, here. Okay. So it's saying 20, and basically it's not very good example i think some of somewhere someone some some character is not connected because I, they, they are basically i think 19 in total excluding the background uh, let me let me see how about i make it five let's see what happens then yeah somewhere some some character wasn't connected because I did it before and the correct answer is 19 basically 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 character, 19 words. I'm counting this as a word too, obviously. So that's it. There you go. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if there is anything you want to know.